Kevin Dolly with the St. Francis Cougars. Uh, these are the games you, you wait all season for, right? Sure is. I mean, you know, if you have the opportunity to get yourself in, in a championship game, uh, and that's what you work hard to, to achieve. Now, as a coach, how do you toe the line with the guys? You, you know it's a big game. They know it's a big game. But you don't want to push them too hard, get them tight, because obviously tight teams probably don't play as well as they should. Well, obviously you want to maximize performance, you know, on Saturday afternoon. And uh, I think it started with our staff meeting this week. Coaches were excited about playing. We've been kind of peeking ahead for a while and knowing that this was going to be a conference title game. And I told our coaches, relax, enjoy it. This is a great opportunity for us. Seize the moment. And pretty much the same thing with our players when we met with them and gave them our game plan on Tuesday of this week because they were, they were a little hyped up. And they said it was kind of like stirring up a hornet's nest all week, you know. Um, but, you know, we want to not kick in the adrenaline cycle until it's time on Saturday. Uh, we've got a great group of kids. They do the things that we as coaches ask them to do. Uh, and I think the, the, the higher percentage that that takes place on the field and off the field, your chances of achieving success are better. Now, you know, this is a veteran football team we're going up against with St. X. They're senior loaded. they got a lot to replace in the cupboard next fall. You know, our football team is young. We, you know, we've got 11 seniors who have been uh, instrumental in making a rebuilding year, one that uh, has been pretty successful. Uh, and there's not too many times over the past 13 years that one of our football teams has gone into a regular season game being a heavy underdog. It's not too bad. At least once a year. <laughs> so you guys are, are embracing that role, so to say. It's an opportunity. Uh, you know, everybody in the world thinks they're just going to beat the tower out of us. So it's an opportunity because it's about what we believe and what we make happen. It's not about uh, internet talk or anybody, the media, any of the experts. It's about what our coaches believe, what our kids believe, and what we make happen. And I'm sure a lot of that's based on the numbers. I mean, they average over 52 points a game or something crazy like that. So how do you guys combat that? How do you, how do you, how do you stop their offense? Well, we got to play good defense. got to keep the ball in front of us. Uh, they have great players. Uh, they have great team speed. A lot of their big plays are on special teams. We've had, had to spend some extra time in, in making sure that we've dotted I's and crossed T's on special teams. Offensively, we've got to take care of the football. Can't get too conservative. I mean, you got to go with what uh, we took to the dance, you know. We, we've uh, been balanced, run and pass. And we're going to run our offense. We're going to run our defense. Uh, we're just going to play with great passion and uh, trying to enjoy the opportunity that's presented. Yeah, I mean, it's safe to say that they haven't seen a defense like yours, so this will be really the biggest test for their offense. It is for both schools. Um, we're the best team that they've seen. We're the best team. Uh, but, you know, they're the best team that we play, run up against all year and vice versa. So uh, that's what championship games are all about, and uh, looking forward to it.